all about the healing. I hope you're shining bright, not letting anybody dim that light. So, with that being said, I want to tell you that you are wanted, you are appointed, you are loved, right? You are an inspiration, you are a motivation. You don't see yourself as that, but you have to start owning, you have to start accepting, right? If you resonate with this channel, it a lot of people don't resonate, right? You, you resonate with things that it's like, right? If you resonate with this channel, then you are a light worker. And with that light, you are appointed. You are appointed to show that light to the world. You are appointed to give that light to the world. You are anointed to speak life because light is not just to be seen, it's to be heard. So what you speak, you speak life unto the world through that light that shines within because what's in you will come out whether you speak it, whether people see it, Feel it, right? Let me cut this down. So, whether people do, regardless, light workers all the way around. Feel it, see it. People see it, feel it, hear it. All of that goes along with being appointed and anointed. Just because you don't feel that you are doesn't mean that you're not because it doesn't really it, it doesn't really light work light workers don't really know that they're light workers until they see how people react to them then they understand that it's something different about them because they have so many people that don't know them that hate them light workers have so many they, they could walk in the room and it could go either way. It could be people all everywhere they go. People want to cling on to them. People watching them. People, you know, they, they, or they could walk into a room and it's cold. Light workers are different. And it takes life to show them who they truly are. Because right off, they think something is wrong with them. But then it's nothing wrong with them. You are the light. And everybody, when you walk in a room or when the people see you, they react to your light differently. And the most famous thing, the most familiar emotion is jealousy. You, you trying to, a light worker has to always figure out what it is about me that people are so jealous about. Why do I always get people that's jealous of me? Why, what am I doing wrong? You're not doing nothing wrong. But that is something that has to be learned. And you learn it as you go through life, as you get older, you understand. And you when, once you accept that, who you are, you accepted all of that that comes along with it. Jealousy and envy comes along with it. So now you know it's nothing wrong with you. It comes along with you. It comes along with your light. Then you understand, again, with that light, everybody don't have that light. So for those of those that don't have the light, they're jealous and they're envy and they want to covet the light that you have. But they, they too do not understand that it is a light. They think it's beauty or they think it's your hair or they, they think it's what, how you dress or your personality. No, it's the light that's in you and the light in you cannot be taken away. They can't steal your light. They can't cover your light. It is something you was born with, something that was gifted to you, something that was given to you that can never be taken away from you. The only
only thing you can do with that light is own up to it, live up to it, accept it, deal with it, embrace it, and have confidence in it. That's the only way you're going to be able to deal with who you are, light worker. All right? Bam! And there it is. All right? So, let's get into the reading. All right, so, this goes along with what I just said because the, it's healer, but it came in the reverse. So, it's the the um, shadow attribute okay so the shadow attribute says taking advantage of those who need help failing to care for oneself so I was like what what is this all about God okay which one is it because it's a different scenario here So give me a second. I'm getting um I'm getting two things, but one of them Failing to take care of oneself. That's what I'm getting. Failing to take care of oneself. A healer. Okay. This is what. Okay. All right. I have a healer here who know their calling, who know who they are, who knows um, what they're supposed to be doing, um, and actually is out here doing what God has called them to do. But somebody's taking advantage of you. This is deep. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Let me. This this is deep. It's it's saying okay. So you are a healer, and like I said, you on it. You out here. You doing it. You've been through a lot, but you are out here helping other people. You are really making an impact on people's lives. People's lives are changed when you get involved. Um. But something is something is not something is not right here. I said somebody's taking advantage. Somebody need help, but they don't want it's somebody that you know somebody that have have done some it is somebody that you know that in your past that took advantage of you that talked about you gossiped about you about your gifts about you owning up to being a um a healer um and they ridiculed you behind your back think uh because you say you are a healer they talked about you they they uh in the, in the aspect as who do you think you are you 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 are uh, parading around as you are a healer um you are um you crazy you cray cray because you think that you are a healer you who you know you ain't no healer that kind of mentality i mean really was behind the scenes going to anybody that would listen anybody that would um hear anybody that would listen to what they had to say they will speak to them and, and 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 talk to them about you 
they they and this fell into fell fell uh uh fell into care for oneself is one of the things that they saying they say how can you be a healer when you can't even take care when you didn't could you couldn't even take care yourself they brought up old outdated situations that you went through that you shared with them they brought all these things out into the forefront to try to back up their story as you being a healer that you're not a healer but all all because i couldn't understand this what is this about but what this is about is that this person needs your help the same person that said that you wasn't a healer that talked all of that stuff about you behind your back and who had a laundry list of reasons why you were not you are not a healer the reasons why you can't be a healer or you this that you lying that you are not who you say you are this same person needs your help now they've been watching you they have been watching you heal people. The uh, they've been inspired by you. Other people inspired by you. They've been seeing all the uh, all the commentary, all the things that you have been doing, and all the your light. They see your light. They see what you're speaking, what you're saying. They see now that you truly are who you said you were from the get go. You, you, you didn't set out to prove anything to this person. You just kept being who you were called to be. You kept on moving forward. You kept on believing God. You kept on having faith in God until you could have faith in yourself and belief in your abilities and who you are. You had faith in God and, who, and what God said you was. And you stood on that. And now all these people, places, and things that wanted to um, speak on your name, speak upon you, wanted to talk about you, wanted to run you down, wanted to say that you was this and say you was that. Now these people, places, and things have focus and target on you and want to latch onto you because they need what you have but they can't because now God has intervened and they're blocked from you they're blocked from coming back into your life they're blocked from having a say so or asking or coming into your life because God said so. It's a time and a season for everything and their season is up with you. They had a time with you. They had a season with you. They had a time to make things right. They had a time to come in and apologize. They had time to come in and ask for forgiveness. They had time to come in and make things right. But now the time has dried up. And they need your help. They need your words of encouragement. They, they need your light. They need your power. They need your clarity. They need your energy to be able to get out of what they got themselves in by targeting you, by focusing on you, by sending, gossiping, and lying, and saying slandering in your name and slandering your gifts and your talents and your abilities see we all have we all have a what i call it cons I, I call it consequences to our actions but it's really karma we all have, every last one of us, have karma. You have dharma and you have karma, right? But we all have karma because we all not perfect and we all here live in a human experience. 
So we create karma with, with the choices and decisions that we make. Whether if we are marked by God or not, we still could create karma. We're not perfect. But speaking of that, this particular person is going through karma for the things that they did concerning you. And they want you to help them get out of it. But that ain't going to happen. Because God has given them a season and their season is up and it doesn't matter how much they pray, how much they target, how much they focus, how much, whatever they do, the game is up. It's up. The time is up. You have a purpose, a place, and you have a thing that you have to move forward. Not backwards. You're going to move forward. The only thing that you must do is you must always forgive. See, because this person, they keep doing stuff to get your attention. They keep doing stuff to see if they can get you to respond or if they can get your energy. But each time they do stuff, you have a responsibility to forgive, to keep your heart light, to keep your light strong, is to forgive. And you allow the Most High to take care of the rest. Because this is not about getting your vindication. This is about you forgiving and allowing God because see God the most high God is a God of war and vengeance his vengeance can never be like yours your vengeance is nothing compared to what God has in store for these people places and things that did these things to you but you have to allow God you have to give it to God and you have to let it go and have faith in God that he's going to take care of it and he's going to see it through. You have a mission. That is what you have to be focused on. Not, not trying to get vengeance. But you got to get a mission. Stay on your mission. Stay focused. But this came up because this you must forgive. This came up because this person is trying desperately to get your attention. They're trying to get your attention and they're doing whatever they can do. they thinking that they can get your attention, but they're, they can't. They're, they don't understand that they're blocked. And they, they, they're blocked all the way around. They can never get into your good graces again. But because they had God giving them a time and a season. They had all the time in the world through that time to do that. But they let their pride and their ego tell them no they let their pride and ego intervene and in, instead of them coming in to make things right and so now the time is up you got all of this focus you got all this attention you got all of this on you focus on you but all because it's rooted in i need your help i need your time i need you to focus on me again me 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 but you can't. You can't focus on them. Your mission has the highest priority. And you can't you don't have time to to stop and to do all that because you got somebody that's in your future that you need to help. You already had they already had your time and your attention and they didn't want it. They destroyed it. They didn't think you was worthy. They didn't think that you could help them. They didn't think. They wanted to ridicule and one-up you and try to make you look stupid and dumb and crazy. So now that they need your help, God says no. Because this person right here, I got right here. I need you to help them. I got them. I need, they need your help. 
And so you need to keep moving forward and you need to keep going because somebody needs your help. Not the past, but somebody that's right in front of you. They need you. They need your words of encouragement. They need your hugs. They need your love. And God is saying, don't look back. Go forward. And I'll give you, when you move forward, I'll, get, I'll do the rest and I'll give you the best. Bam! And there it is. So, with that being said, hit the comments. Let a sister know you still working with me. Let a sister know your story if it resonated. Um, share, oh, thumbs up, thumbs down. Just thumbs the channel. Share, share, share. Subscribe. Hit that description box if you need the social media. If you want to know about the channel, I'm sending you love, sending you healing, and Trinity is.